Today is how to plant out your courgettes. Now it's the beginning of June and where I live all worry of frost has gone in my area which is fabulous. It's actually the 2nd of June today so the meteorological, it's a very big word for a Saturday <laughs> afternoon, um, the meteorological summer starts on the 1st of June. Now courgettes are tender crops which means that if they do get caught in a frost then even if it's a light frost then the leaves will wilt and then the plant will die. So you need to make sure that you wait until all worry of frost has gone in your area before you plant out your courgettes. Now I've put two in already but I've got another five to put in and I just thought that I would show them to you. I've got two varieties of courgette. I've got gold mine, which I've put in, I've got two of those, and I've got five plants from uh, of a variety called Griller Mix. Now, they're doing really, really well. I've actually positioned them where I want to put them, but I just, I thought I would just show you this plant. As you can see, hopefully you can see, there are lots of flowers growing already. So they are lovely and big and strong and they are ready to go out into the soil. Now it's very, very easy to plant them out into the soil. So let me show you how I do mine. Now I have positioned them one, two, three, four, five. And I've put them about 18 inches apart from each other. Don't put them any closer. If you have to, then you know a little bit closer but they do spread quite a bit and they do need the room so 18 inches is about right now I've just popped them where I want them to go and then now I will just put them in the soil so all you need to do is you just need to dig a hole it's very easy make the hole just a little bit deeper than the pot and all you need to do is then, once you've dig, dug your hole, is just very carefully take the plant out. As you can see, hopefully, there are lots of lovely roots growing in, so it's very ready to go in the ground. Pop it in the soil, in the hole that you've made, and the hole needs to be just a little bit deeper than the, the pot itself. And all you need to do then is just fill in any space round the plant and just then firm it in just like that. Now you will see that there are a few of the leaves, the leaves are very low in the soil that's absolutely fine but the flowers that are developing are above the soil. Make sure that the flowers are above the soil and the flowers aren't below. So there's one done I'll put the label in so I can I remember what they are and I will get on and do the other four. Well there they all are in. I've put them all in, given them a nice firming with the soil. All I do need to do now is to give them a really good water and you will need to protect them against slugs and snails. So whichever way you want to protect your plants from slugs and snails is entirely up to you. There's loads of ways that you can protect them. So whichever one works best for you. Now these will settle quite quickly in here. They'll be very happy and they'll grow quite quickly. So because the flowers are starting to form already, Hopefully it won't be long before I pick the first of the courgettes, maybe four, five weeks possibly. I don't know, we'll just have to see, it depends on the weather. But they are now in, which is really good. So I actually feel like I'm getting somewhere now. Well, I hope you found what I've shown you useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye bye.